I'm Emily Klein. Thank you for watching official Emily Klein on YouTube. And today we have a very special guest. Some of you guys may know her from being the Elsa lookalike from Frozen. We have Miss Anna Faith. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Thank you for coming. Thank you. Of course. So um, the whole world currently knows you as Elsa. And <laughs> what I want to know is who is Anna? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Anna is a little bit more crazy than Elsa. <laughs> I am a very outgoing, crazy person. I don't know, I think Elsa is a lot more content and you know what I mean, she's just more civilized. And I'm just like, no, no, it's not being civilized! <laughs> That's Anna. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are some uncivilized things that you do? I don't even know, I, I can fall over there. Oh yeah, she just totally fell backstage, aka behind my little I, garage hallway. Thing. I don't think I'll sort of do that. I think she would be watching her step and not falling over walls or whatever I just fell over. She's kind of scary. She's like Little Miss Perfect in the movie. <laughs> yeah, I am not Little Miss Perfect by any means. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, how old were you when you discovered that you wanted to be an entertainer and what direction did you think that you wanted to go with that? I was about two years old. Mm -hmm. I was performing publicly since second grade, but when I was two, I would just go around the house singing in my underwear. It was <laughs> disturbing, but... That know. must have been a sight for your parents oh, to yeah, see. They're like, oh, tone it down! That's why I hate watching baby videos. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm like oh my god, I'm like naked. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Um, I remember when I started my YouTube channel, you had one and you would post like all of your modeling photos on it and I used to always think like, oh my god, she looks just like Britney Spears. I think you had <laughs> your pictures go into like the song Womanizer or whatever I when did. you're like 14. And I remember commenting on it being like, oh my god, you're so pretty, you look just like Britney Spears. Um, and it's so funny that you get the Elsa lookalike out of this whole thing. Um, where do you think you'd be today without that picture? Um, definitely not here in this room with you. I wouldn't be here. Um, it's definitely changed a lot now because I have a lot of younger kids following me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I get a lot of things from parents saying my children look up to you and they want to be just like you when they're older. So, you know, you really have to remind yourself that you can't say certain things like no cussing, no anything provocative, not that I post anything provocative, but like my friends, if I tag them in a photo and they click on their page, they can't be posting other things that are bad. Exactly. So you really have to watch out. So um, TNZ just recently published an article about you um, <laughs> saying that you were anything but G-rated and they were referring to your body. Um, I know that a whole bunch of other media outlets have been referring to, you know, you being more grown up than being like a Disney character for children. And how yeah. does that make you feel? Well, I mean, you can't really help when you want to go to the beach and you wear a bikini like everybody else. You know, it's, I guess just because, you know, this feels like a Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus situation. Yeah. You know, if she did something bad, everybody would be like, no, that's not right. But if anybody else did it, it's not a big deal at all. So it's like, what, I have to go to the beach wearing a full-on astronaut suit in order for me not to <laughs> yeah, be killed or publicity? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a sight. I don't know, and then it's just like you have all these like older men like commenting on it, and like I went on YouTube last night to do some research, and like fans will post videos of all of the sexy, on a picture, like I was like, whoa, you know. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> it's gotta be a little strange. Um, so okay, so you had a pretty huge following on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everything yeah. before this whole um, Elsa Frozen thing happened. And how did you accumulate so many of those followers? That was just through modeling and promotions that I would do with other models, and they would be like, you know, this is this girl's cool, follow her, and then so I gained. <laughs> A hundred thousand with that, really cool. and then now it's bumped up to like three hundred eighty something. That's really cool. What um what modeling did you do before? Um, I actually did a lot of bikini shoots, which was um, you know, a few months ago. Uh, and then I would just do promotions. I worked at the Daytona Five Hundred, and I worked um, Destination Daytona, just little things like that. But this I don't even do those anymore because I don't have any more time. Yeah, I literally cannot do it. Yeah, else. those take up a lot of time. So like, how do you stay in such good shape? Bikini, photo shoots, <laughs> everything. Um, what well, are your 
secrets. Tell us. <laughs> I eat a lot of chocolate and Subway, and I like to sleep. Um, that's actually very true. I <laughs> eat burns calories. I eat burns like 16 hours. So. No, I need to get back into fitness because I used to be like a hardcore fitness person. You know, you gotta gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta eat this. And when all this started happening, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do fitness anymore. I gotta do all this stuff, but I gotta get back into that because it's good to be healthy. That's really good. That's really good. Um, so how are people um, treating you like different? Um, since this has happened. A lot of people are coming back out that weren't really my friends to begin with, but I would get text messages from them and they would send me like pictures of them and I together and they said, oh my gosh, I miss you best friend. You should post this picture on your Instagram. I'm like, ah, no. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, do people trying to be in your life so they can yeah. say, you know, I do this, I do that, but I mean, that must be really hard to think that people are just trying to be your friend just because you've become famous in the past few weeks. Yeah. Just out of nowhere. It shows you who your real friends are, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. if they really wanted to be my friend, they wouldn't be now. Exactly. They would have done this a while ago. Exactly. Um, so, speaking of friends, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Handsome guy in the room. He actually happens to be one of my longtime best friends and your boyfriend. It is Matt so. Prince Charmy. You'd come up here, Pink. Yeah, you can come sit with us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <coughs> this is Jared. He's fantabulous and I love him. I absolutely love him. <laughs> and he supports me all the way and he's adorable and I love him. <laughs> yes, yeah, so everyone. This is Jared Stiltner. Two R's, get that right. Yeah. <laughs> Jared. Um, so, how did you guys meet? Um, we knew each other in middle school, um, and my best friend, uh, Luke, introduced us uh, when I first started going to the middle school. Um, I didn't know anybody because I came from an elementary school where most of the people from my elementary school went to a different middle school than I ended up going to. So I literally did not know anybody, so uh, Luke had been like my all-time best friend. I've known him since literally we were born, and uh, he had a close group of friends that he kind of let me in and um, you know they kind of welcomed me because I didn't know anybody else and so um, and that's where I met her and um, and we we weren't exactly the, I mean the best of friends in middle school but I mean we knew each other and we you know said hey, I knew you. we saw each other <laughs> they actually all went to middle school together fun yeah. fact as long oh, or as um, so did Chris our cameraman hey. yeah he's back there. <laughs> so um, so what is it like having such a famous girlfriend? Um, it's, it's interesting. It's definitely not um, anything that I'm used to by any extent of the imagination. Um, what about those guys out there, like always saying how hot she is and well, um, talking about I, her body? The way, the way that I think about it is at the end, at the end of the day, we're together, and so like it, it doesn't bother me as much anymore. Um, I just kind of, I guess, had time to like think about it and know that like she's not, you know, doing anything obviously and um, <laughs> obviously, obviously, <laughs> she has a cyber boyfriend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, it doesn't bother me that much anymore. Um, it took a little bit of getting used to, but now I'm, yeah. I'm kind of yeah. It's definitely not the normal relationship that you usually would have, but that's really nice. You've got a good one here. So. I do have a good one. You have a good one. So um, See, now that she's doing the Elsa thing too, because it's a lot of little kids. Yeah, yeah so that's really nice. He gets to go to the schools with us and read. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's awesome. Books. That's really awesome. So, um, speaking of dating and being together, you went to prom in full character. Mm -hmm. So, um, why did you want to do all of that? That's right when the picture hit the internet. Uh huh. And people were already addressing me as Elsa. So, he took me prom shopping, and I saw this beautiful blue dress right in the middle. Remember that? It yeah. was right in the middle. I said, I have to have that one. So I tried it on, perfect fit. First dress yes. I tried on, it was mine and he bought it. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> and then we had it custom made to where it has the sleeves and the dress. It was definitely inspired by Elsa and I just thought her dress was gorgeous. So I wanted one like that. And then his mom used to be a hairdresser. So she did my hair to the side and I was, was like, oh my gosh, this is 
amazing. So I just had to go to prom like that. It was kind of like awesome. a double whammy when we saw the dress because she had been talking about kind of pursuing the whole Elsa look like thing. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was still very new at that point. It mm -hmm. wasn't big at all. Yeah. But um, but like because she she posted that picture and she got you know quite a bit of feedback. And so when we saw the dress, we figured, okay, well I can get you the dress for prom, and then when prom's over, since you're only gonna wear it one night, there's no point in getting you know another dress and then having to turn around and buy another dress to match yeah. the character. Yeah, that's so really it was cool. kind of just it worked out that way. I wish I had more dresses for my prom dresses. <laughs> I should probably donate them or something. Now she has three of the same one. Yeah, we went back and bought three of them because the dress I have now is already falling apart. Yeah. Because I'm just traveling in it all the time and kids will be like, hey, you know, yeah. pick at it. So, you already yeah. a few more. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so, uh, what are some of the exciting opportunities that have opened up to you since uh, the picture went viral? The publicity is great because more people found out about me from other countries and want me to go to their hospitals to see more kids. I don't look at this publicity like, Oh my god, I'm famous. I'm like, oh my gosh, these people, you know, they want my help, they want me to go visit them, make their kids feel great. You would be so surprised to see all the people that message me, parents, saying my daughter, my son has been diagnosed with this disease. Um, we get so many. Um, in two weeks, I'm going to Minnesota to see a little girl who's getting her leg amputated. So, and her biggest dream is to meet Anna and Elsa, so oh, it's going to be so special that you get to make that happen, yeah. This is why I like to interview interesting people, because celebrities have a special power and a special effect on a large audience to do good things. Uh, some of them choose to do bad, but I really like it when I hear a good story like this. Well, thank you. So, you're welcome. <laughs> um, and where can we expect to see you next? I'll be coming out with an album soon. I know it's kind of random, but I do love to sing. She sings really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and maybe possibly somewhat this much of a chance on Once Upon a Time if I get it. Tell us about that. How was that? It was pretty cool. They gave me a script. It was like the second episode for me to read off of. Um, my sister was Anna reading in the back, so it was really cute because we get to talk to each other about it. Um, That's awesome. But yeah, we just had to read through that, and um, I might be able to give you the audition tape, and you can also play it oh, with us. That would be perfect. Yeah, yeah we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview. And we actually have a surprise for one lucky follower. You have to follow both of us on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll put those up. And you have to share this video on your Facebook. Um, and when you go and you share it on Facebook, go and like official Emily Klein. And what it is, is it's a frozen DVD and we're going to get it signed by Anna. So, yeah. <laughs> Elsa? Oh, Anna, Anna, well, Anna, she'll Anna. sign it. Yeah, Anna Elsa. Anna Elsa as Anna. Anna as Elsa. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. She doesn't know her name. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's my name. That's my name. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. Of course, <laughs> thank you. No I do, because some people can't afford or they are in a hospital and they can't go to Disney for whatever problems they have and I get to go see them and some of them actually cry with happiness because they say, well, you know, we can't go to Disney. So it's really sweet seeing them smile and get so excited and their parents just overwhelmed with joy. It's so sweet. <laughs>